Hello everyone and welcome back to Mod Development in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 of Real Solar System. This particular mod will only work in Real Solar System for now. It is Edwards Air Force Base. I have previously released the Edwards Air Force Base terrain, but I've made improvements to it. Uh, in particular, uh, this area right here with the runways has now double the resolution, so uh, even though it's still fuzzy, it's better. Uh, and I've also improved the normal, normal map, the bump map. Uh, for the terrain so it looks better and I've also added buildings now to explain why the buildings look the way that they do I'll show you what I did because they're not high quality buildings but the goal was to make sure that the texture size didn't increase that there weren't more textures so I used a special method for that we need to make sure that the buildings are in the right location and look basically correct I have uh, come up with a solution to this, and this is the solution. So basically, these are images that you can get off of anything that has aerial photography, and they are applied to uh, little blocks like that. Very simple. And what we want to do is for each block, and this is going to not be great for buildings that are right on the edge here, as we can see, but we'll extrapolate that later. Uh, but we are going to duplicate the top faces, so not separate, nope. Shift D, and hopefully that didn't move anything. Okay, and then separate. Okay, so we have this one right here, which is a duplicate of those top faces. And it's like that. And everything is in the right location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into top view and I'm going to block out using the knife tool. Knife tool. <laughs> the, the buildings that I want to deal with. So what's going to happen is we're going to have these little squares in the right place. And they're also going to have the right roof. The right roof color. Not only that, but the roof color is going to be taken from the image of the from the texture image that we already have. So we don't have to use a different texture. So we save texture space like that. I think this is all one thing, right? And then what we're going to eventually do is extrude it all. Now that doesn't mean that it's gonna have the right look exactly on the sides, right? But we're going to use the texture that we've already got, the ground texture, to make the sides. So we'll just UV unwrap the sides of the buildings to like this area over here. Okay, anything that is in the building needs to go. Uh oh, did I not do this bit? Oh, uh, okay, it's not selecting that. Gotta be careful. I think that's all of it. Uh, faces. Okay, now all we have is building faces. So we are going to press E and then pull those up a little bit for now. We can decide on details afterwards. That's two meters. But this is scaled down. So uh, this three meters is actually pretty big. It's not really three meters. Okay, I'll take that for now, but let's try and make the hangers a little bit better. We can see how these new buildings look in relation to the scenery here, but the sides are just sort of streaky, and so that's not nice, but I want to unwrap them without using a new texture, so we're just going to use the taxiway texture, which at least won't be streaky, but, um, you know, won't cause us extra texture space. But really, the hangers need to be open. Well, I mean, they don't need to be open, but we would like them to be further open. We'll probably cut that apart later. Let's just texture them first and then sort of cut them open later. Actually, the easy way to do this for most of these things is just to select everything that's not tall. 
not at the top of the buildings. So we don't want any of the top faces because those are already dictated by the map. And then I'm going to go into UV editing. And we might as well open up the right one. This is this one. And we're going to just go smart project. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll probably want to cut them up. I, I could cut them up more precisely later, but we'll just go with this for now. And we could give them different parts of the map as their texture. I mean, giving them a tan portion is just like, well, that has a little bumpiness. So we want things that look more like uh, the side of a building. So now they look like this. So we're going to take a look at the terrain from higher up and see how it looks. So uh, for some reason, there's this polygon here and I, I, I don't see it on my terrain. I don't know what it is, whether it's maybe a Kerbal Constructs thing or related to the cockpit. Um, it there's some weird thing that goes on with the cockpit. I've checked the model of the plane and the model of the train. This isn't part of that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. I just used a stock Mach, uh, Mark One cockpit for this, so. And this T-38 comes as part of my airplane pack on GitHub. I guess I'll link that in the video's description as well. The Edwards Air Force Base terrain will also be in the video description. Let's not go down. I don't have SAS on. This install doesn't have atmospheric autopilot because it's the one where I do the Giulio Dondi shuttle stuff. And that doesn't work with atmospheric autopilot. So, on a sunny day, it's really hard to see the stripes on the, on the flats here. With a little bit more shading, you can see the runways on the flats pretty well. Overall, I think the size of this is 120 megabytes. So it's not too bad. But obviously you would only want it if you had something to do at Edwards. And you can see the buildings there. So they retain the look of the top of them based on the aerial photography. Yeah, the, the, the polygon sort of hangs out with us, but it's in different places at different times. Sometimes the polygon in question is clipped into the cockpit. Sometimes it's floating further away. There's another model that has this problem, and I think it's due to the IVA. Um, I think it was... Oh, there, there. Now, now, now uh, here with the shading, you can see that thing right there. But it doesn't always stay there. But you can see right here, it's no longer visible from, from like any angle. Something to do with shading. So yeah, that little polygon is no longer there, but... Anyway, hopefully it has given you a look at the terrain. It actually looks better with less light right now. It's so bright that we can't see the lines on the flats. Those do appear pretty well in different lighting situations. The buildings don't look great, but again, the goal was to make sure they were in the right places, which they are, and had this correct general shape, but I only judged the shape from the top view, not from the side view. So I don't actually know which one is supposed to be the tower. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's a tower here somewhere, but I don't. Uh, I'll have to take a look at other photos for that. Everything is shaped based on the top view only right now, and I didn't do all of the buildings, just the big ones. And actually just on two sections, so even though there are some, as I pull mini G's here, you can see that uh, this section over here, these buildings over here I didn't do. 
but that was because they were a different part of the terrain. Same with the ones down here near this runway. I didn't do these yet, but I will eventually. So anyway, that's the that's the new Edwards Air Force Base terrain for you. And other people have made trains of Edwards as well, but I've had trouble with them, so I decided to just upgrade mine. If I had been able to use those correctly, I probably wouldn't have made this uh, updated this one. It should automatically appear on your terrain. You don't have to place it with Kerbal Constructs. Uh, that was something that I had to do before, but I've made it better, so it'll be automatically placed. You can place another one of Kerbal Constructs if you wanted to. If you wanted one some other place, you can use Kerbal Constructs to place that. This plane doesn't have its air brakes, so we have a lot of momentum. Yeah, something keeps puffing around. Oh, go down. Okay, oh, oh, there's a little bit of a seam there. Okay, barely made it. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it. That's the Edward scenery as it is right now. And I hope you like it. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.